Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to create this Witcher 3 style camera. It's gonna be basically part two of our improved third person camera where I made some mistakes and in this video we are gonna do it the right way. So basically all of this is gonna happen inside our player blueprint. So I have this third person character here and the last time we just moved the camera. But as I found out and thanks for putting it out on the last video, there's actually a better way to do this which is with the camera boom because if we just move the camera by itself, it can glitch through the object. So the first setting that I want to change here is target arm length because if you look at the reference from Witcher 3 the camera is much closer which is also really common for third person games so i'm gonna change it to let's say 200 and i find that that setting works but obviously you can always change these things then we need to change the socket offset and you can experiment with this or you just copy my settings which is 65 and then 25 on z-axis and this is basically gonna make it to where the camera is kind of in the center and then a little bit up which is similar to the over the shoulder camera but it also means that our camera is centered which allows us to basically interact with anything seamlessly in the world and also turn around if you want to look at your character so that's the camera then but there is also a second part to this and this is something that happens when you are sprinting in Witcher 3 which is the camera zooms out when you are sprinting and then zooms back in when you are not sprinting and this is also really common in third person games so I'm gonna go into to the event graph right click and search for left shift and obviously you're gonna want to implement this with your sprint function i don't have one since this is just a blank character so i'm just gonna implement it with left shift keybind so from pressed i'm gonna drag out and search for timeline double click it to open it then click on add track add float track and we want to change the length to 0.5 and we want to right click on the track add key and then right click again and add the second key select the first one change the time to zero and the value to 200 and then select the other one change the time to 0 0.5 and change the value to 250 and obviously you can change this again depending on how much you want to zoom out i found that 250 works just fine then we are gonna get our camera boom drag it in drag from it and search for set target arm line plug that into the update and then from the new track zero or maybe you have named it something else you can just plug it into the target arm line and then from released we want to plug it into the reverse so what this basically does is that when we press left shift or sprint the timeline is gonna slowly zoom us out because otherwise it's gonna be too snappy it's gonna be too fast it's gonna look glitchy clunky whatever you want to call it and then when we are releasing the left shift and we are reversing it so we are returning back to the base value keep in mind that if you are gonna change later on decides that maybe you want target arm length to be a bit longer as a baseline then you are gonna need to adjust the timeline as well so now when i go into play and i run around as you can see we have the centered character we can turn around and see the character similar to how it's in Witcher 3 then when i run press left shift as you can see we slowly zoom out slowly zoom in etc so i hope you find this helpful if you did leave a like and subscribe thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one bye